ladies and gentlemen. Appearing this way in person breaks one of my long-standing traditions. But then you probably know by now just how much respect I have for traditions and law. Most of my screen career has been concerned with portraying lawbreakers. At least ever since by a quaint twist of fate I was cast as Little Caesar. Well, it was all a lot of fun and uh, very pleasant up to a certain point. After a while, I became so imbued with the ruthlessness of these characters that I got to believing that I myself was really tough. Yes, and then again, my sleep wasn't any too restful. Why, one night I got up and found myself strangling my wife. A lovely girl. And I was shouting at her, look here, this bed ain't big enough for both of us. One of us has got to go and ain't going to be me. Yeah. Well, what was all the fighting for in the old gangster pictures? Territory. But seriously, Hollywood, when it makes pictures, is primarily concerned with entertainment. But I do believe that every now and then they can perform a great public service. And I'm sure that you will agree that the so-called gangster pictures of a few years ago did a great deal towards the awakening of the American consciousness to the pernicious practices that were lurking in our midst. Now, this picture that I've just finished, a picture that I believe that all of you will want to see, the last gangster, strikes an entirely new angle. It is the smashing climax to all gangster pictures. It reveals the end of mobs and mobsters. It exposes vividly just what happens to our so-called public enemies when Uncle Sam gets hold of them and puts them where they really belong, behind prison bars made of triple steel. I want to tell you... You're telling me nothing. I ain't going to any federal pen. There isn't one big enough to hold your Crozac. And now look here, little man. I've had enough of this. You get my lawyer, Gorman, on the phone. This is Joe Krozak. You ain't talking to any junked up sucker that knocked over a corner cigar store. No, let's get that straight. I'm talking to number 8429. What? Number 8429. But you're the man I love, Joe, and you love me too, and you married me. I get away. I married you because you're my kind for a kid, see? A family. Joe Krozak, Jr. That's my kid, you hear me? I got plans for that kid. You try and snatch him and I'll have you dropped out of sight. You bring him here dressed fancy every month or I'll know the reason why. 